Hello everyone. I'm making this video to help focus you in on what the instructions were from Ms. Cho and I um, for completing your exit ticket when watching this video in which the teacher reads the first part of the book Flight about Charles Lindbergh. In the email, we ask you, instead of what the teacher in the video asks you to do, to continue making inferences about the book and to use these words. I infer mm -hmm. because in the text it said. So even though the teacher in the lesson says you should say, I think the reason I think this is instead, we want you to say, I infer because in the text it said. We also provide the same sentence frame at the top of the handout. Now remember, you don't have to actually use the handout. You could just write this on a blank piece of paper. But again, it says, I infer because in the text it said, and you'll notice when the teacher is reading aloud the book Flight, she stops four times. And so each of these stops, stop one, stop two, stop three, and stop four, are for you to write down your inferences after she stops reading each time. So let me give you an example of what um, someone might do after stop number two. So listen to this part of the read aloud first. To touch this fire will plunge the plane to the ground. There's an extra fuel tank in front of the cockpit. Because of this, Lindbergh cannot see straight ahead. Will the spirit of St. Louis with its over 5,000 pounds rise up in the air? To keep the plane lighter, Lindbergh is leaving behind his radio and parachute. Will that be enough? He has been up all night getting ready. A thought runs back and forth through his mind. It is still possible to turn back, to return home. And so just from that small part of the text, we can make an inference, and this is just one possible inference. I infer that Charles Lindbergh is nervous about the flight because in the text it said there is a fuel tank which makes it hard to see in front of him. The text also says that he had to leave his radio and parachute behind to help make the plane lighter. Finally, the text says that he thinks it's still possible to turn back. And then I have a closing sentence you can see. As you can see, I infer that Charles Lindbergh is nervous. Um, I included three pieces of evidence to help prove my inference that Charles Lindbergh is nervous. You don't necessarily have to include that much evidence for every inference, but I did want to make clear how to use the sentence frame that we've asked you to use during each stop when you write about what you just heard in the text. And here's the same thing where I've just um, underlined and put in bold the sentence frame that we asked you to use. I infer that because in the text it said. There's definitely a lot more inferences you can make from the part of the text that we just heard and from the rest of the text at each stop. So make sure you listen carefully. I just wanted to uh, model for you on what we're looking for, an example of one inference that someone might make from a very small part of the text.